China is spearheading a groundbreaking initiative to establish an International Lunar Research Station ILRS at the Moon's South Pole, aiming to collaborate with 50 countries. This ambitious project promises to revolutionize lunar exploration by enabling extensive scientific research and resource development. With plans to build a basic station by 2035 and an extended one by 2045, China's ILRS is set to become a hub for international cooperation and technological innovation. This video delves into China's vision, the global partnerships involved, and the cutting-edge scientific goals driving this monumental endeavor. Stay with us to discover why the ILRS is crucial for the future of space exploration. The ILRS is designed to be a comprehensive setup, featuring both orbital and surface components. This integrated approach is intended to support a wide array of scientific projects and technological advancements. Key missions leading up to the ILRS, such as Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8, will play a critical role. These missions are scheduled for the latter part of this decade and are tasked with mapping resources and testing in situ resource utilization technologies. For instance, Chang'e 7 will explore permanently shadowed regions to investigate the presence of water ice, which is crucial for sustaining long-term human presence and supporting future space missions. China's strategy with the ILRS goes beyond mere exploration. By securing a foothold at the Lunar South Pole, China aims to leverage its position for broader scientific and strategic benefits. The resources found in this region, particularly water ice, are essential for supporting life and could be converted into hydrogen and oxygen for rocket fuel. This makes the Lunar South Pole a key target for sustainable space exploration. Moreover, the ILRS project is not just about establishing a presence on the Moon, but also about fostering international collaboration. China's goal is to involve 50 countries, inviting 500 foreign scientific research institutions and 5,000 foreign researchers to participate in the project. This collaborative effort is expected to accelerate technological advancements and enhance scientific knowledge on a global scale. Through this project, China aims to create a model of international cooperation that can pave the way for future space missions, including potential Mars expeditions. China's approach to the ILRS project emphasizes extensive international collaboration. As of now, China has signed agreements with over 10 countries and nearly 30 international research institutions, aiming to expand this to 50 countries. This coalition includes countries like Venezuela, Belarus, Pakistan, Azerbaijan, South Africa, Egypt, Nicaragua, Thailand, Serbia, and Kazakhstan, with Turkey also expressing interest in joining. The diplomatic efforts behind the ILRS highlight China's commitment to global cooperation in space exploration. By inviting countries from the Global South, BRICS nations, and even Western countries, China is building a diverse and inclusive partnership network. This approach not only strengthens the ILRS project, but also enhances China's geopolitical influence and leadership in space exploration. For example, recent agreements with Hungary and Bahrain show China's efforts to involve a wide array of international partners in its lunar ambitions. Despite these efforts, there are significant geopolitical challenges. The involvement of Russia in the ILRS has led to hesitations from Western countries. The European Space Agency, ESA and NASA, have refrained from participating due to ongoing sanctions and policies that restrict cooperation with Russian and Chinese entities. The Wolf Amendment, which places severe restrictions on NASA's ability to engage with Chinese entities, further complicates this situation. However, China's focus on building alliances with non-Western countries and regional organizations like the Asia-Pacific Space Cooperation Organization APSCO demonstrates its strategic maneuvering. This coalition-building effort is crucial for the ILRS, as it ensures a broad base of support and diverse contributions to the project. By fostering these partnerships, China aims to create a robust international coalition that can advance the ILRS and set the stage for future space missions. This project also represents a significant opportunity for participating countries. By joining the ILRS, these countries can gain access to advanced space technologies, scientific knowledge, and potential economic benefits from lunar resource utilization. 
This collaborative model not only benefits China but also offers substantial advantages to its partners, promoting a spirit of global cooperation in space exploration. The ILRS project is driven by ambitious technical and scientific goals. The plan is to create a lunar research station that combines both orbital and surface components, supported by ground facilities. This setup will facilitate a wide range of scientific experiments and technological advancements, particularly in the area of resource utilization. The Lunar South Pole, chosen as the site for the ILRS, is of significant interest due to its potential reserves of water ice, which are crucial for sustaining long-term human presence and supporting further space missions. One of the key missions leading up to the ILRS is Chang'e 7, which will include a small spacecraft designed to explore permanently shadowed regions and investigate the presence of water ice. This mission, along with Chang'e 8, which will test in situ resource utilization technologies, will lay the groundwork for the ILRS by providing critical data and validating new technologies. These missions are essential steps toward building a sustainable lunar base, as they will gather valuable information about the moon's resources and test technologies needed for their utilization. China's plan involves a series of five missions to establish the necessary infrastructure for the ILRS, including power, communications, and other essential systems. These missions will deploy various technological innovations, such as nuclear energy sources and advanced communication systems, to ensure the station's self-sufficiency and operational efficiency. By 2030, China aims to send astronauts to the moon, marking a significant milestone in the ILRS project. The technological advancements and scientific discoveries from these missions will not only benefit China but also contribute to the global knowledge pool, advancing humanity's capability to explore and utilize space. The ILRS also aims to serve as a platform for international scientific collaboration. By involving a wide range of countries and research institutions, the ILRS will facilitate the exchange of scientific knowledge and technological expertise. This collaborative effort is expected to accelerate advancements in various fields, such as astronomy, geology, and materials science. The ILRS will also provide opportunities for testing new technologies and conducting experiments in a unique lunar environment, contributing to our understanding of the Moon and its potential for supporting future space missions. China's technical and scientific ambitions for the ILRS are not limited to the Moon. The project is also seen as a stepping stone for future missions to Mars and beyond. By developing and testing the necessary technologies and gaining experience in operating a lunar base, China aims to pave the way for more ambitious space exploration missions in the future. The ILRS is thus a critical component of China's long-term space strategy, positioning the country as a leading player in the global space race. In this video, we have learned about China's ambitious International Lunar Research Station project and its goal to involve 50 countries in establishing a lunar base. We explored China's vision and goals, the international collaboration and diplomatic efforts, and the technical and scientific ambitions driving this initiative. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.